Republican Space Rangers Intergalactic War on Terror We don't worry about collateral damage or error Cause we're nuke and hate, we're spreading freedom and liberty Sometimes we kill with undue glee Oh, is that your home? Sorry! Gotta complete the mission And possibly deny extraordinary edition Spread in American values Sometimes you gotta bomb an orphanage or two Republican Space Rangers! With idiot liberals working to undermine America Who do you call? Republican Space Rangers! They are Butch, Commander, and Dick! We join the ranger's ship, floating in an uncharted nebula deep in the black depths of space. Beer stain, detected. Vomit, detected. Baby batter, detected. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, huh? Law. Anybody see a cat running around here? Uh, what cat? Man, the one is shit in my mouth. I don't know. Oh, god damn, it's hot in the chubby girl's undercarriage in here. I got fucking vapor locked in my shorts. You, tin can. What the hell is going on here, anyway? The atmospheric regulator is offline. You've been in cryosleep for eight years. Eight years? Dick, you dumb shit! You programmed the cryogenic alarm clock wrong in the boring part of the last episode! It was supposed to be eight hours, not eight years! Huh? Ow! Ow! Oh. Hey! Why are y'all staring at me? Oh no! I must have put the sun lamp setting on for eight years too! Now I'm a metrosexual! I oughta send your fake bank ass out the airlock! Log into the ship's computer, soldier sissy pants! That's an order! <laughs> Sir, I forgot my damn password! Now we'll never get the ship started! Hey, Dick, try Doggy Balls 4. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah. Uh, how do you spell 4? Uh, no, no, that ain't it. Uh, all right, uh, give a clown pocket a whirl. No, 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 not that either. Try pink harmonica. No, no. Take, take over, fat princess. Nah. Oh, what the fuck was it, boy? I think the password has been reset. Shit. Allow me to type it in. Huh? What the hell is that word? That looks like Latin faggot shit to me. Must be one of them random letter generators. Anyway. Hey. <laughs> Oh no! It has been eight years! Everyone's defriended me! I've missed out on all that vlogging and telling people what I hate about standing in line at the grocery store! Shut <laughs> your pie hole, super shopper! Social networking is for queers! A real man hates himself silently and his friends openly! Plus, you were getting too goddamn carried away with that shit! <laughs> Say cheese! Smile, dirt star! Oh! God damn it, Butch! Uh, hey y'all, we have orders to return to Earth immediately. Hoorah! In fact, we's a little late. These orders are five years old. I don't gotta hear that twice, boys. Let's hit it! I can't wait to head back to the good old U.S. of A and make me some motorboat sounds between a couple of genuine American fake silicone hooters! Booyah! Yeah! <laughs> That's me and my mother. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Hey, all right. hey, fellers! I bet they make a bronze statue of us as heroes! But I'll tell you what, my action figure better have a four-foot inflatable cock, cause I hey. wanna... Hey! Hey, where is everybody? Where's the welcome party? Who's this guy? Welcome back, service people. Here, have some medals. Your country is proud of you. Please sign here to give up your rights to a pension. It's your patriotic duty. A lot has changed on Earth and the military in the past eight years. First, we'll need your weapons, boys. What? Man, these must be outdated. Oh, I can't wait to get my new gun. 
Go have one that'll shatter an alien's final column, but leave them conscious so I could go them before crushing the life out of them with my boot. Yeah, yeah, or, or, or a gun that blows the enemy's clothes off like a like a nude bomb, yeah. you know? <laughs> then you'd know if the bad guys have a gun. You <laughs> shot it, soldier! Everyone knows terrorists hide guns in their butts! <laughs> Why you look there first? Uh, no, actually, gentlemen, here are your new weapons. What? Nah, how holy hell is this? Where's the trigger? That's an excellent question. It is a non-lethal conflict resolution device. Too many enemy combatants were harmed through crude projectile-based weaponry. These project positive affirmations that help you bridge the gap and solve matters peacefully. Well, give me the goddamn thing. It's not... oh. Jesus fucking Christ, this is a joke, right? A what? A, a joke, Bubba! A joke. Oh, yes, yeah. I'm sorry. Jokes were outlawed several years ago. Too many parents' groups were getting offended. This is a genuine American peacemaker. It makes peace and encourages participants in a conflict to relax and shed their angry selves before reconvening around a conference table in HR to discuss problems. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get Poon Job to tell me where the next terror plot is with this thing? Hell, we need flamethrowers and duct tape and, ooh, waterboarding. Oh, and electric nipple clamps. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, that's the best part of it. them nipples. And naked human pyramids. Ooh. Uh, yes, we don't facilitate torture anymore. What? What the wet patch of piss are you talking about, soldier? Torture works! <laughs> Just watch this. Uh, hey, Uncle uh, Buddy. Oh, no, Uncle! <laughs> now say my uncle touched me funny. <laughs> Dick's uncle touched him funny. Hey, hey, you shut your mouth. That's me and Pawpaw's secret. Oh, mercy. I'm afraid you need to attend a sensitivity retraining seminar. Report to human and other equal species resources. Welcome, servicemen, women, and all other equal species. You know, serving the universe as guardians and protectors is not the simple job it once was. Not by a long shot. I mean, no longer can you shoot a person in the face and post the video of it on the internet. Now, we are conflict resolvers engaged in an equal partnership with all people. The word is non Violence. Let's do a little question as an example. Okay, if an alien horde has threatened your ship, how do you respond? Oh, 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 oh okay, you. Oh, oh, damn. I liquidize them, the commander awards me a medal, we shower together, then drink till we black out, and I wake up in nothing but my socks. Eh, oh, wrong answer. Shame on you. Okay, who's oh, next? Oh, uh, yes. Wait. Okay, I asked them to stop. Good. And then I vaporize them. And then I feel bad about it afterwards. Good. Commander calls me a fag, and we shower and play volleyball. <sighs> well, it's better, but it's still wrong. Oh, I got this. I got this. Got this, motherfuckers. Let me think. Okay. I light a cigar. Eh, no, sorry. Smoking is illegal and bad for your health. What? Okay, okay. I beat their children, stick them on the front of my spaceship like a human shield, then nuke the entire fucking planet into next week. No, wrong answer. I'm afraid I'll have to revoke your medals and label you all as traitors. <gasps> what? I'm sorry, guys. I really what? am. You, you, you can't just do that. I'm a patriot. My favorite beer even says so. And you, you're just a goddamn filthy fucking alien. Uh, oh, I'm an equal opportunities co-worker. Besides, for your information, our president is an alien. Uh, you gotta be shitting me. And that's what my great uncle taught me. True story. So the fact is, you're probably incorrect. <laughs> now, I'm not waffling here. I'm, I'm distracting. Trust me. I know I've never had a real job, but I still understand the economy a darn sight better than you do because of my deep, mellifluous voice. Say, uh, would you like a photograph of me in a swimsuit? <laughs> anyway, from now on, America is all about inclusion, people. And that means lots of taxation and, first and foremost, changing the American flag. So, let me unveil your new flag. My God! The president's a goddamn homo communist! And an alien! Come on, boys. Let's get the hell out of here. Booyah! But you haven't finished your sensitivity training. <laughs> I think we're about done with that shit. Sayonara, sweet cheeks. Yeehaw! Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Guys, guys, come back! Can we talk about this? What we gonna do? Well, as patriots and Americans, we are left with only one option. We gotta kill the president or set off a terrorist attack and blame it on brown people! That's pretty heavy. God damn it, we're heroes, son, not diplomats! The right and proper thing to do is to shoot the democratically elected bastard before he changes anything else in this hellhole! We've done it in plenty of other countries, and it worked out great! Yeah! Fuck democracy! <laughs> Hell, we only ever liked that shit when it worked for us anyway! Okay, fellas, gather round. Here's the plan. This is so exciting. Whisper, 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 whisper. Uh, 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 Mr. President? Mr. President, sir? Could y'all stop for a minute? I just wanted to talk to you about writing autobiographies. <laughs> Why, <laughs> that happens to be my favorite topic. <laughs> interesting, very interesting, but at the same time, very important. Hitch your wagon to change. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I think, but, uh, I agree with what you say. <laughs> now, dick! Uh, uh, tell us more, Mr. President! Sweet Jesus! I've been hit! Little man down! Little man down! Did I get him? Hey, did I get him? You saved my life! You saved my life! Make this man a hero! I think I'll write about you in my next autobiography. And, and, and thus it happened. I was reconciled with the hillbillies, and my identity was complete. I was truly all things to all people. Man, beast, alien, and redneck alike. I am the American dream. I ain't gonna make it. You shot the only thing I ever loved. Y'all have to be a liberal now, Commander. You ain't got no Johnson. Quick! Revive me! <laughs> God damn it, Dick! Get off of me! Will the commander's toucher be saved? Will the president know how close he came to death? Will his next autobiography be as boring as the previous ones? How will this new liberal world treat our heroes? Find out next time, only on Republican Space Rangers and Rangerettes. Republican Space Rangers is an equal opportunity employer. Violence, sexism, or humor in the workplace will not be tolerated. Coming up later on Weasel News, are you eating rat feces? And have pedophiles invaded your computer? We'll show you how to find out. And a special report on parenting. How to tell if your teen daughter is still a virgin. We call it News. Traffic, weather, and the war on terror together. Weasel News. The show that knows what today's men want. Power tools, moisturizer, and domestic violence. In the men's room with Baz and Jeremy. Hey, you guys are taking forever in this back room. Hey, come bother me in the men's room. Yeah. And now for your hosts, Baz Rutten and Jeremy St. Ives. All right, hi everybody, my name is Boss Rutten. And I'm... And welcome to the man's room. Yeah, yeah, let's kick it up. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's do this. Listen, the ratings are coming in, and people come to me and they say, Boss, how is this show on the air? And I say, this is a reality show. Yes. Two men in the bathroom talking, that's reality. That's where we can be ourselves. Talk about women, talk about love, and talk about snipping the vertebrae in the man's spine. How about going to the phones? How about going to the phones? I know it's time to go to the phones. Hey, let's go to the phones. So, who's on line eight? Hello? Who's there? I am watching you. Uh, who is this? I know where you live. I'm watching you. I'm in your house. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, creepy guy, but I'm going to break your leg. Please attack me, and I will please return the favor. I'm going to rip off your arm, and I'm going to beat you with the red hand. Bang! Bang! And then I'm going to make love to your femur. You know? Just like a dog. Baz, don't, don't. I'm, I'm really scared. Maybe it's that serial killer everybody's talking about. I don't think so. He kills homosexuals. And whereas we, Jeremy, we are tough guys. Tough as nails. Nails. You know what? I shoot a nail into my hand right now. Ooh. 
That's what we're all about. About helping people through difficult times in the men's room. Yeah, that's, that's right. Difficult times. You know what? You know what? 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 Okay. I want to tell you something. On the streets, everything is legal. Being a man is legal. Well, not quite everything is legal, Bass. Uh, but between consenting adults, most people turn a blind eye these days. I never turn a blind eye. You turn a blind eye, listen, you got to get blinded. Bang, bang, bang! Listen, I get my wisdom from the Greeks. You must be like a centaur, part man, part horse. You get drunk and carry off the maiden, and anybody say anything, what do we do, Jeremy? Knee to the groin? Exactly! Yes, right there! That's gotta hurt! You're playing a game, and we're calling this game Blue Ball Baseball. I did the ones in the bar brawl in Manila. And all the guy had... All that guy had left was his blind eyes. And I walked to him, and I go... So just three little jabs. Is that a retainer on your shirt? Or are you just glad to see me? Boom, boom, boom! Three hooks later, I slide him down the bar, his face full of fucking glass. I swear to God, he'll never see again. It's... I... I do a shot, I play some pinball, and then, just for good measure, an elbow to the face, just like that. Yeah. Well, you know what I don't turn a blind eye to? Blind people with the seeing eye dogs. They don't have to pick it up. I mean, I wish I could poop in public without having to pick it up. I have no idea what you're just talking about, but hey, listen, I'm sure it's covered in my next book. Pre-order now to avoid disappointment, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, great. Just what the world needs. Another book about how to solve conflict with a nail gun and a bad temper. You heteros are all the same. Let's go to the phones. Hello, line five. Hi, uh, my name is Paula. I I'm in Vice City. I've been married for a few years and my man has gone right off on me. I mean, I rarely cheat and we got a great life together. Three kids, we go to church, but the sex is dried right up. What should I do? I've tried lingerie, having three sons, and even screwing the neighbors to make him jealous, but nothing works. Paula, girl, I see your problem. Hmm. You gotta get back to the basics, because that's your problem. You know what a great aphrodisiac is? Anger. Hmm. Pain is even better. Just don't take it too far. That's why grudge sex is the <laughs> best sex you can have. Right? Yes. Yes. You gotta hate him, Paula. That's what I'm telling you. You gotta hate him. Um, okay. Yeah, and every time you make love, don't make love. Make hate. <laughs> <laughs> Call him names and really mean it. Little dick, no balls, that kind of stuff. Let him hit you a few times. Fuck! Just on your freaking face. And then you really let him have it. I said to my lady, really, go on, smack me around. Take that chair, hit it right across my head. Bam! Because that's erotic. That. Men like this, Paula, I'm telling you. And then, Paula, give it to him with a baseball bat. Mm, yeah. So he's seconds away from calling the cops. <laughs> or, of course, we can always deliver the good crack in the pills! <laughs> Baz. Uh, okay. Thanks, Baz. I'll be sure to try that and let you know. Thanks. Next caller, come into the men's room. <laughs> Jeremy Bot, this show is gonna be fucking great! <laughs> oh, oh. So, uh, who's on the phone? Hey, Baz. My name's Travis. Your show sucks. You're not so tough. Yo, you teach all this stuff, but I could take you. Trust me, I have a gun. All your stupid roundhouse kicks and stuff can't beat a gun, homie. Lead travels fast, biatch. Oh, Travis, buddy, please hang on the line, okay? Because I want to tell you something. The Garden of Lavender and Roses is one that you have to crawl through over thorns with a knife in your mouth. Exactly. You bite back the tears with the blood running down your face. Mm. This analogy is for life, and it's all covered in my next book. Crawling through the garden of lavender and roses over thorn with a knife in your mouth and slightly aroused. Yes. Listen, I teach you, Travis. You live in Liberty City, right, uh, Tudor? Uh, uh, yeah, but, but how do you know that? Well, let me tell you this pretty soon in about five minutes, you will hear a knock on your door <laughs> and three guys will be there. Hmm. The first rule of violence is, don't always commit the crime yourself. Now, if you are choking on the sheriff and waiting for the posse to come, or making the cyclops cry, 
it's no matter because sometimes we all have to wait in the dark. Discipline. I tell it to Jeremy all the time. Discipline. It's discipline. Don't let the images, Jeremy, of your stepfather hound you. Don't, don't let him. Don't tell no, him no, about No, 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 no. You're a man. It's okay. It's okay. What happened is in the past. You're still a man. Okay. Don't worry. You are alone. Alone with your heartbeat. Life quickly spirals out, to, out of control, Jerry. Hmm. I mean, come on. One day, you look in the mirror, and then suddenly, you just punch it. Fuck! And at that moment, you look at yourself in the mirror, and you see the broken reflection, and you, you feel empty inside. Bass. Bass, come on, let's, let's get back on track here. That's right. When you fight the game of your life, punch your opponent in the liver, and that is... <laughs> Oh, right there. That's the liver. You have to have the wings of an eagle, the body of a lion, and the tail of a howler monkey. People say, hey, listen, I don't want to study martial arts. The problem with martial arts is the years of training and celibacy. You can't fuck. It's out of, out of the fucking question. It's well known that ninjas aren't allowed to touch themselves, or they lose their edge. And if you lose your edge, not good. Now, this gives you great focus and precision when you're cutting off someone's head. My method is I teach you how to feel this anger. Obliterate, obli obliterate, obliterate your opponent and ruin his chances at reproduction. And you know what? You're gonna get the girl in the end. It's a great story. You know what else is a great story, Jeremy? Well, I really like Little Red Riding Hood. World War II is a great story. Vietnam, the Falkland Islands, Australia. Men with bare hands taking care of business. Setting people on fire. <laughs> Burning their faces. And that's all the time we have for this time. This time. This has been Bass and Jeremy in the men's room. Join us next time in the men's room. Only sissies wash their hands. Don't miss the next episode of Undertaker. The best Undertakers from across the nation compete for the most dignified end for your loved one. Grandparents, mothers-in-law, pets, or lawyers. It's dignity all the way as we bring competition to man's final resting place. Undertaker, only on Weasel. Republican Space Rangers Intergalactic War on Terror But don't worry about collateral damage or error Cause we're nuke and hate, we're spreading freedom and liberty Sometimes, Sometimes we, we kill, kill with undue glee. glee Oh, is that your home? Sorry! Gotta complete the mission And possibly deny extraordinary additions Red and American values. Sometimes, Sometimes you gotta, gotta bomb an orphanage or two. Republican Space Rangers! With a universe full of terrorists trying to infiltrate America, who do you call? Republican Space Rangers! They are Butch, the Commander, and Dick. When we last met the Rangers, they were bravely defending the borders of our universe from the horrors of illegal aliens. Republican Space Rangers! Kill first, film it, and stick it on the internet later! Episode 456, Trouble Brewing Down South. I tell you what, boys, there is nothing like barbecue space chicken to make you feel patriotic. Gentlemen, we are on the front lines of freedom right here. This is where our civilization ends and a universe of untold savagery begins. Any illegal alien immigrants try to sneak through this checkpoint, our standing orders are to deport them permanently to H-E double toothpicks! <laughs> Amen! Hoorah! <laughs> Shut up and get tender, bitches! Hey, uh, how come I can hear that gunshot? You know, sound don't travel through no space. Huh? Oh, God damn it, Butcher! Fucking up our character continuity! You're supposed to be dumb as sticks! I'm just saying, all them space movies you hear, you know, with them lasers and ships flying by? But you can't hear nothing in space for real. Space is a vacuum cleaner full of dark matter and impossibly dense. I got some impossibly dense dark matter for you. <laughs>
<clears throat> Dinner's ready, boys. <laughs> oh, holy snap, an asshole! Hey, look at you, mister. Fucking self-improvement elitist with your fancy learning. Hey, look, I got all the educations I need. It's called a gun. Holster that weapon, soldier! Need I remind you that dark matter is what we're supposed to stop from creeping into the blessed homeland? Butch, what are you, some kind of elite son of a bitch now? Yeah, living up in your ivory tower listening to your jam bands and your rap music and whatnot? Are you social networking on me, boy? Uh, Commander, I, I read all this on them internet. Internet? So help me, you better not have yourself a blog, boy. The internet's? Well, she ain't for learning. She's for posting unsubstantiated lies on message boards, calling people fags and fart and shit. Do you read me? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, and chatting with underage girls with large hairy hands and Adam's apples and thick ankles that don't shave. Uh, anyway, you two shut your beer holes and be on the lookout for illegal immigrants. They're a scourge, I tell you, gentlemen. Why, when my people came to this country, the last thing they wanted was to be joined by a lot of foreigners once the place was full. It's just like the Constitution says. We the freaking people! I repeat, we the freaking motherfucking people! Uh-oh! Hey, we got a live one there, fellas! Whoa! Incoming combat! Lock and load, prepare fire, boys! On my command! Yeah! Yeah! You try to soil this distant outpost of the homeland with your funny language of merengue hoo-ha, and I'll shoot a load right in your fart box, boy! Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's another great day for spreading freedom, boys! What say we hit the hay? Oh, but before we go, Julio, Ivan, Ming-Ho, get your sorry tentacled arses out here on the double! Si, sí, senor commander. Oh, Julio, Julio, Julio. We said it a million fucking times. Let me be very clear. God speaks English. My Bible is in English. I am English. This am Englandish. Speak fucking English. Si, sí, si, sí, sorry, senor bossman. England very pretty. It is very pretty. Cut the crap, the two of you. England is full of homos. Anyways, listen up, Julio. While me and the real heroes catch some Z's, you zeros give the ship a little cleaning and a good once over. You people are good at that, aren't you? Listen up, my alien friend. The American dream begins under the table. I'm taxed at a dollar fifty an hour. You don't like it? I'm calling immigration come morning. Si, sí, senor. All right, now, vamos, amigos. <coughs> Damn heathen language makes mouth taste like turd just speaking it. Hit the fucking rack, boys! Uh, Commander? You asleep? What? Uh, grab your socks, it's a ra- What? What the hell are you doing in my bunk, soldier? Hi. Uh, I got cold, uh, and I keep thinking I hear crickets, you know? Oh, god damn it, Dick, those ain't crickets! That's my new bangle sleep machine! So you play soothing sounds that help me sleep. Comforted things like the sound of crickets, or rifles cocking, or aliens cowering, or flags unfurling. Now get your ass back to your bunk and get some shut-eye, soldier! That's an order! Leave my teddy bear! Oh, thank you so much for coming. My family is starving. So, I, I brought you some beans. Y'all people like that, right? Beans? Well, anything. Oh, <laughs> I'm so confused! But why? Well, you're filthy alien scum. And I got a mandate here from the Lord God Almighty and Weasel News to kill you, but I, I just want me a new friend. Will you be my little buddy? Well, I, uh, I, I don't know. I, what do we have in common? I like reading and art and philosophy and studying the universe. What do you like? I like TV and breakfast buffets and mega churches and rodeo and killing people. Only, 
I don't really like that last part. I'm so confused, alien scum buddy. I'm all alone! <laughs> Now, please, please, what about the other two psychotic rednecks in there? The one with the murderous rage and the inbred one always complaining about his sweaty groin? They seem like your kind of people. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, uh, I like Butch and the Commander and all that, but we don't have so much in common no more. That's because we ain't but fucking queers! Oh, shit. <gasps> Unlike you and this intellectual elitist cocksucker! I beg your pardon. Consorting with the enemy, huh? Giving him comfort, are ya? You might as well be pink socking the motherfucker! Hoorah! Hey, y'all been there since beans, haven't you? Hey, excuse me, but how can I be homosexual? I had 14 kids. That is, until you killed most of them! Exactly, motherfucker! Natural selection's what we call it! The way the good lord intended it! Would have been all of them dead if my plasma gun hadn't locked. It's all a clever design, my alien friend. Teach the controversy. Hey, stop staring at my penis. Oh, please. Fuck you, you fudge-packing alien scum. Get this straight, boy. I ain't marrying you because it's it's illegal. And and fuck you, butch. Hey, I bet that alien's demon seed is gonna burn its way into your brain. It's got control of you, Butch! No, Dick! Commander, he, he, he's just my... my friend! You friend?! Harsh shit, you gay-ass motherfucker! Dick! New orders! We got queers to kill! Butch likes alien cock! Uh, Butch, hurry this way! Hey, Butch! Just cause you suck cock, it don't make you gay as long as the lights are off! I grew up on a farm! Where are these homos? Oh! There they are! They're getting away! I can't believe I've become a traitor! We're like outlaws now! You gonna call me the bandit? Oh, they'll probably hang you! Oh, no! I didn't join the Space Marines for this! I signed up to protect Earth and kill foreigners and have video games made about me! Life is complicated. I know, I saw that commercial. Oh man, it's them! We got a Smokey on her backside, little buddy! Have mercy! Listen up, Butch! Your backside is really gonna be smoking when I'm done with you, do you read me over? Yeah! You stop your poon hanging around with insurgents! You are threatening our way of life! You shall be liquidated like bad debt! With no rescue bill inside, motherfucker! Insurgents? Prepare to die! Oh, piss off, dickhead. What's this? I call it Operation Shitstorm in a Basket. Oh! Oh, shit! All systems are offline! Ah! This can mean only one thing! What? Cyber terrorism! <laughs> but We're running out of air in here! It's like that choking game I like to play with my dad. Only it's real. We've got to save your friends. Well, they called me gay. Maybe I'll just let them die. It's called transference, buddy. It's basic Jungian psychology from your planet. We have to save those morons or we'll be just as bad as they. Well, okay then. Hey, y'all need to get in the seminal vesicle airlock and hit the eject button. We'll catch you. I'm going out like I began! Hoorah, motherfucker! Whoa! Will the Commander and Dick explode in the vacuum of space? Will Butch become a granola-eating liberal pinko? Will the Commander offend any other minorities? Taking a handicapped woman against her will! Will the alien sign a book deal with a women's magazine discussing conflict resolution in your marriage? Will liberals ever stop hating America? Find out next time, only on Republican Space Rangers! Republican Space Rangers! Tomorrow, only on Weasel, a terrorism special. Why fear is your best friend? Find out, are helicopters really safe? How to tell if undocumented workers in your neighborhood are really a terror cell. And how to protect yourself with this city's appalling restriction on gun ownership. 
A special look at day trips to nearby states that sell over-the-counter assault weapons. The Weasel Terrorism Special. Weasel News. Standing up to the liberal agenda, one issue at a time.